B-26 bombers of the 9th Air Force, stationed in England, are prepared for an early morning takeoff on a mission against enemy-held territory in Europe. This is the beginning of a typical double-header day for the men of the 9th. An early start is essential, for on these days, two missions are completed, one in the morning and another in the afternoon. Their targets usually are enemy airstrips, supply dumps, and rocket installations. As soon as they are airborne, the marauders head for their rendezvous point. Once it has been made, radio silence is maintained, and the operator takes his place at the waste guns. En route to the target, enemy anti-aircraft batteries go into action. Although the flak barrage is usually heavy and intense, the B-26s have never been turned from their target because of it. A base of action is taken every 10 to 20 seconds, but the cost of the objective is maintained. Over the target, a German twin-engine fighter field, it's bombs away. With bomb bays empty and noses down, the marauders head for home fast, meaning plenty of flak on the way back. This 26 makes the trip home on one engine. Over the base, they peel off and come in for their landings. This marauder had its hydraulic system shot out. The nose wheel was locked down and the main landing gear was locked in the retracted position. The pilot, 19 years old, the youngest on the field, brought her in for an almost perfect landing. The damage was quickly repaired and within 24 hours the plane was back in the air. As soon as the planes land, they're lined up for servicing. Parked close together to speed up the job, the planes are ready for action within 45 minutes. While the bomb bays are being loaded with 500 pounders, the plane's crew is fed. With only 45 minutes for lunch, the men don't stray very far. The planes are refueled, rearmed, the crew fed and ready for takeoff on the next mission within three quarters of an hour. Once the planes are ready to leave for the afternoon attack, the takeoff runs smoothly and quickly. The marauders run down the strip at intervals of 15 seconds and head for the rendezvous point over England before starting across the channel. At the rendezvous point, other flights join to form a complete box of 18 aircraft and the trip to the target is begun. As the formation approaches the enemy territory, the men adjust their flak suits and put on their helmets for protection against shrapnel and splinters. Crossing the coastline, the Nazi anti-aircraft batteries, some 10,000 to 12,000 feet below, open fire, but the formation holds its course to the target.
The bombardier, who is also the navigator on the B-26, snaps his switches, and once more, it's bombs away. The target on this mission was another twin-engine fighter airfield in Holland, only a few miles from the German border. This field was one of several bases from which Nazi planes have been raiding London. Runways, dispersal areas, hangars, bomb dumps, and barracks were hit. During the trip back, the planes are again subjected to heavy flak. Two Typhoon fighters come alongside to guard any damaged planes on the way home. This B-26 was hit, and with one engine gone, begins to fall out of formation. England and the home field looked mighty good to the men after completing a double-header day over Nazi-occupied Europe. 